Uh, I'm saying never let that bread get involved in your loyalty. Never let these bras lead you to go and question me. Ever got a plate and if you don't wish. What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy Ford, the boy J Man, and I'm here with Jaden and D'Amico. Man, so look, we formed walk-ons on the Vero College, so we about to get into the needy greedy of why we all quit. Thanks. You feel me? <laughs> Starting with D'Amico. Look, that whole walk-on program at Naval College, located in Corsicana, is complete. What's the word? BS. That's what it is. <laughs> it is BS. Oh, oh God. It doesn't matter how athletic you are. It doesn't matter how fast you are. If you're not 6'7", 6'4", and you weigh 180 pure muscle, you're not getting moved up on the team. If you didn't go to Duncanville, DeSoto, White House, you're not playing. Exactly. Then, look, bro, so basically, when we got in there, basically all they did was just watch us run, fam. Like, that's all we <laughs> Like, we're running track or something. Like, we're running track, bro. I didn't sign up for track, bro. I'm trying to play oh, football. God. I'm trying to play football, bro, not track. They don't put you in the weight room. They are not serious about you at all. You got to do nope. that stuff yourself. None of that. Nope. Bro, you get injured. Don't think about going to the trainer because she's not going to serve you. Yeah, my dude, my dude KB, he got injured. Call him mm -hmm. on. Nah, like, they ain't care, bro. Just told him, just don't participate in no activities. Just show up. So it's like, and, and you can get all this hype, you know, on the little, what, what days you call them? One-on-one. Yeah, the one-on-one <laughs> -on -one days. You, you, you can drop, they you can drop zero. Go 20 for 20. And they're going to tell you, good job, or they're just going to disregard it. And at the end of the practice, they're going to say, a lot of y'all need work. When there's a person who just went perfect, but he needs work somehow. That, that's just yeah. showing you something. And but. then, bro, it's like, look. So, like, some people did get moved up and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, at mm -hmm. the end, they did get moved up. Yeah, they did. Like, during the summer with the team and stuff. But they guess got what? Back down. Back down to the walk-on. Back guys. down to the walk-on. It's <laughs> that, like, I don't know. That don't make no sense. It don't make sense, How you going to move a person up from the roster, have them go to the summer Thinking workouts the and be, the every, summer. be there everywhere doing everything, and then you say, okay, Let's get back to reality and put you back down on the wall. Right now, that's a waste of time. Oh, God. Yeah, and then, look, the excuse is we ain't got enough equipment. We ain't got, got no jerseys. Mm -hmm. But We ain't got no jerseys. How, how we ain't got enough equipment when we just signed, like, 60 people? Oh, God. Right. We just signed 60 people. You shouldn't be signed that many people if you don't got Not even 60. We signed, like, equipment. we signed about 70 players. Mind you, a lot of those players that got signed didn't even come. So you got money to buy another jersey. You got money to buy yeah, more equipment. You got the money. No, nah, but you know how it works, though. They're going to have that one person that they like, mm -hmm. and they're going to have that jersey and that equipment for him, specifically. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. They're going to have it. it. They, it's a lot of favoritism on here. Mm -hmm. Too much. Way too much. That's all. If, you, if it wasn't a scholarship, man, you might as well say forget the ball. Go somewhere else and be in a walk-on. Oh, they're God, not going to take you man. seriously out here. God, you can go D1 and be a walk-on at a HBCU school. You're going to see the field way more than you ever going to yeah. see the field. Matter of fact, did you go? we had a D1 player on the walk-on last mm -hmm. semester, mm -hmm. and he didn't get moved up. But he was way better than a lot of us. He came from, oh, he was a bounce back. He already yeah, came he from came from here. Florida and mm -hmm. played, played from a school in Florida, a D1 school, and he came here. Didn't even get moved back. up. Yeah. Like, what, bro? No, that makes sense. <laughs> homeboy came from Dwyer High School. I know him and I played against him. Homeboy came. Homeboy had a whole nother school now. See, look. He went to an HBCU school, by the way. This yeah, is I not the that. school for opportunity. I'm telling you that now. It is not. This school is good for academics mm -hmm. yeah, and funny. good to grow, mm -hmm. but it's not good for athletics. Oh, yeah. You can, you can definitely make, make some, friends. some friends. You can do all that stuff. You can have a good time out here, but when you want to get serious with sports, this is not the place to go for a walk on, especially. Unless you're playing soccer. Yep. Volleyball. Mm hmm. We can't say basketball because they do the same thing we yep. do. <laughs> and we, you can't even walk on for baseball. You got a scholarship on it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. And then, bro, because look, the soccer walk on girls, I ain't even going to lie. I don't even know who will walk on, who will active player. Cause they all treated as one, See? and they all right. play. Same thing with volleyball. You don't know who the walk-ons is, who the active people is. They all play. They all treated as an equal. It's not separate like not football separate. and basketball is. Cause dog, you was in the basketball walk-on class yeah. our freshman year, dog. So like, how that shit went? I mean, I mean, it was a little. I don't know. It seemed like they gave you a little bit more attention than the football did, but it's pretty much the same thing with that. Like they already, I don't know. Let's see, six eight. Tell, tell them what they had you doing in that walk-on basketball class. Oh, shit. But yeah, like what I was like with the walk-on basketball, pretty much like they'll have you conditioned and stuff. We'll be running stairs, and like they'll take us outside. We'll we'll do our little mile. We got to try to get it under five minutes. Mm -hmm. But then it's like when it came to the actual basketball part, we'll like go in the gym, like we'll warm up, we'll shoot around. They act like they like they messing with you. And then when it's time to like, they'll say like five on five, like and act like they'll watch us play. 
But nah, really, they on their phone all the time, and we just running back and forth, playing the game. Like, this is my high school. Bro. Like you said, they don't take you seriously pretty much at all. Yeah, like you said, it's not high school either. It's so not. we not finna just be, you know, wasting our time. We grown men. Mm -hmm. We at this next level, so. Exactly. Yeah. You got to be up front with it. And it's like, bro, had a whole D1 bounce back in the walk-on class, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Homeboy from South Florida. Great went receiver. To, went to the wire high. I played against him when we was in high school when he was just a freshman, man. He came here. They didn't look at homeboy. Homeboy jumped by all the people. He was mm -hmm. always finishing his time. Mm -hmm. Every it got to time. the point. Like the D one bounce back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It got to the point like the next month came, homeboy stopped coming to that. No, he did get injured, but I, I don't blame him for not even coming back. Because mm -hmm. if they ain't see his talents like that, and he's doing everything to everybody, then Thanks. he mm -hmm. wasting time. It's not luck just because you're doing it out on that first one on one day. Oh, if God. he's catching balls like that, he's gonna do it again. Oh god. Yeah, it's like it's, we had a JUCO, we only got two years, so really exactly. Time to be exactly. Time. I'm, not like, gonna, I'm not gonna be no three year, four year here trying to get on the team. And then it's like, bro, with the walk on the football class, you know, we do one on ones, like we really, really working on our skills with one on ones. Exactly. But we ain't know, really doing that. They don't be peeping that at all. They you know how with a regular football team, mm -hmm. at the beginning of your season, you're going to be conditioning. Mm -hmm. With the walk-on, they had us conditioning out through the whole entire thing, Yo, first semester. and second semester. Oh, God. It should have been strictly after maybe the first month. Mm -hmm. After that first month, we just strictly football. doing football work. Yeah. You're doing your position work. But no. Bro, can remember we did that one day of um, skills with our positional coaches. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's when Jordan Jefferson one, was here. We only did one, but we did one day. Like, one day of positionals. Yeah. And then after that one day of um, skills with our own um, positional coaches, we back to doing one-on-ones like we did freshman year. And let's not forget, they even was messing with us on the one-on-one -on -one days. Oh, God. There'd be days where they canceled it. They canceled mm -hmm. it. They brought us out there, and we're running again. Mm -hmm. Like, we didn't just run two days in a row. And, like, say, like, if it rained, right? But mind you, we walk in the class in the rain. Mm -hmm. So if the after roster get the workout in the Gibson Hall gym and run, why we can't do the same? Him, why we gotta do a Zoom meeting? Yeah, What's the point of us doing the Zoom? <laughs> they, they be BSing, man, too much. I and mean, you be having people in the active roster who be failing half their classes, but exactly. want to tell us, oh, you keep your grades up and all that stuff, you have a potential of getting moved up. Hey, yeah. hey what cool part said us when we first came? Yeah. I gotta build you guys up to exactly. the level of the active yeah. roster. Build us up to what? Fail? Fail the classes? That's the classes? Literally. Because <laughs> it's, it's majority of them, too. It'd be a lot of them. Oh, God. You got, um, oh, God. Y'all got y'all main two start Like, bro, main three starters just came back. This day, third year in Juco. Mind you, it's illegal to play junior college football for three years. It's illegal. Oh, man. It's illegal. Like, bro, like, COVID year, that was last year, man. That was their sophomore year, bro. They juniors, not in Juco. Right. It that, was. They did have that one year that was excused, mm -hmm. but they still played that other year, too. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. it's like, bro, like, you a whole junior out of Juco, bro. Like, dog. You trying to go to the NFL or whatever, bro. It's like, you ain't going to have that many D1 on opportunities, dog. You got to get what you get, man. <laughs> people that be trying to be too picky and trying to get these scholarships from Bama and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got some people who can, who really can do that. Yeah, but, you know, they not yeah, even playing gotta, right now. You just got to take what you got, though. Like, man, we yeah. got little Michael Cole that's on uh, at the roster, number uh, 85. He went number 84 this year. Mm -hmm. Might run the, bro, the coldest routes I've ever seen by a white boy. Run the craziest routes I've ever seen team. by a white boy. He's on the team? Yeah, he on the oh, team, bro. He, he don't even play. play. He fifth string. Oh, First he was on second string this year. What? Then he became third string. Now he's like the last string. He's fifth string now. He ain't even gonna play. Nah, this year. He not even gonna play this year. And that's yeah. crazy, because it's like, bro, this man came from another Juco, came here. The man can put, bro. White boy can play ball. Mm -hmm. And it's like, they not gonna let him play this season. And it's like, bro, I feel like, bro, do you need to go to the league or go to a Spring League or something, we'll go to the CFL or somewhere because, bro, he got hella film. Facts. And Brody oh, not playing. They be, they be BSing too much. They For don't real. even care like that. So now, nah, bro, it's like, you got to get it how you live, man. I ain't going to lie, this ain't the right Juco. It ain't. <laughs> so now we here to talk about the business side versus being a walk-on class player mm -hmm. versus being an active roster player. So, so let me start you off. First off, we got way more time to do our work. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be failing. We, we, can, we can go to the library. You don't even see the football players in the library. That's mm -hmm. like, that's that's the difference right there. We don't even see them boys in class. Exactly. <laughs> we don't. You maybe see them in class, but shoot, it just seems like the coaches only like, think about football and not the academics yeah. when they tell mm -hmm. us to focus on our, our academics. Mm -hmm. It's like, like more time for yourself, for real, pretty much. And you can work on your craft. You go to the gym. You're mm -hmm. doing everything you got to do for yourself. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. We basically free agents in our own <laughs> That's right. That's literally what we, <laughs> we are. We basically free agents. We are free agents. So it's like, man, you know. Stay conditioned to your work. Mm-hmm. So it's like, man. Pretty much what you what you were doing in the walk on, like all oh, the conditioning God. you could do yourself. You man. could do it, bro. All that conditioning, you could do man, that on your own we free We was time. doing more in the gym than what we was doing out there anyway. Exactly. You, you go out to the field, you run 20 rounds. You already done did more than what you did this morning exactly. in the walk on. For real. The whole week. Exactly. And I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I, 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 listen, I honestly. Don't quote me on this. I honestly dislike conditioning. Because it's like, bro, if you want to get a player condition, let's go through no huddle. Oh, God. Let's go through no huddle. On me, it is. Because, look. Let's it, go through that. Like you you can get them. Bro. So mm-hmm. between you can get them conditioned in a way that they're enjoying it. Exactly. Yeah, they're going to be tired. But, like, yeah. you got you got your running back doing all these routes. You got him running. You got him catching. Mm-hmm. You got mm-hmm. him doing all this. He's enjoying this because he loves the sport. But if you yeah. just tell him, line up. Bro, nobody wants around. to hear that. Man, we nobody doing one tens. Yeah, don't nobody want to do no one tens. Don't nobody want to do no hundred yards. Don't nobody want to do that, bro. Got us running fifteen hundred yards. Man, they don't even do that in the pros. Back. I'm like, come on now. Exactly. Bro, they don't bro, even do that in the pros. They don't need, bro. Like, bro, I doubt they do that in D one. Bro, they don't even be doing that in track practice. No, nah, not even in track. Come on. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That shit, we used to make jokes in our group chat about this on um, being the track team. We was a track team. <laughs> PE class. That's exactly what hey, it was, bro. Exactly. They're just like to see some of my like to see some of my homies get moved up to the roster and then them boys get told they gotta go back to the walk on. Oh no, no, no. That's the thing. They gonna move you up, right? And you think that you finna be doing all this. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you on a scout team. You just a little dummy on the field. Mm-hmm. So they can just mess with you pretty much the whole time. Yeah. And when Pac when uh Dan got moved up, yeah, they had him on the practice squad. Yeah. Bro was supposed to be on the team, but you he got, got him. Whole scholarship, exactly. Man. I, I don't know. Does nah. he? He does? Yeah, he got yeah. a whole scholarship now. So, I mean, hopefully they're taking it more serious, though. But I mean, yeah. right now, he's fighting for a chance to be a starter right now. Oh, that's the song. No, me, that's it's good. Like, that's good for him. Man, it's like, I ain't going to lie. He was like the only quarterback we had in walk-on class. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. The only quarterback we had. And then Jason finally came second semester. <laughs> Set, I mean. Like, second semester, he came. And then it's like, all right, so we got one quarterback. So he might get moved. I ain't gonna lie. My whole thinking, cause like, bro, he tall. So yeah. I'm thinking, all right, bro, he'll probably get moved up first, like, you know, first two weeks. That's what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. And then, like, bro, it ain't even happened that way. Yeah, they ain't gonna lie. Coach Jefferson, funny dog. <laughs> oh, me. They'll say something to you, you know, boost your head a little bit. Coach yeah. Jefferson, funny. Bro, y'all must not long, long, like, catch a touchdown pass. Like. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's gonna say something to you. Hey, 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 he was funny. Throwing touchdowns. The, the walk on program should be like a team. It it's either you good or you're not, and if you're not, be real. Cut them off. Exactly. Yeah, Work on the people that are good because mm-hmm. you're not just going to put yeah, anybody on a team. Yeah, exactly. exactly. If they can do something, then work with that person. Mm-hmm. But you exactly. just got you got this person. That'll make it easier on them. Exactly. You got this person mm-hmm. in this bad bunch of mm-hmm. people who just can't play, exactly. and you're making him look bad, but he's the only person doing good stuff. Exactly. But if you got multiple people, if you got multiple bad players and then one, mm-hmm. They gonna they gonna look at all those bad people and just say forget it. Man. I'm not even finna watch you. Mm-hmm. So when exactly. that good person goes, it's like oh you didn't even see this man do what he yeah, had to but. do. Exactly. That's how it is here. For real, and it's like I ain't gonna lie, bro. So tell them how you um decide to quit. Oh, we just not showing up. I mean, okay. pretty much. You said why or like like why? Oh, why? Yeah, why? I mean, I just got man. I got tired of like bro. what we just talking about. I got tired of doing that, bro. I'm not Look, coming to just run. We we had our we had our alarm set. We was getting ready and everything like that. But it just came to a day where it's like, man, you're wasting our time. We in the, we in the third month of the walk on. And you're still telling me on Monday and Wednesday, I got a condition test. I mean, what? look, it wouldn't even be so bad if we just played more football. Yeah. Throughout the week too. It wouldn't, if it, like if we played more football, exactly. no. If we actually did football throughout the week, like, yeah. a, like a football walk-on class is supposed to do, mm-hmm. then I'd stay in it. On me, I, I would. Saying, even if I got to do the condition. I'll if you're trying to get me better, of course, and I'm, yeah, I'm going to stay. We're not doing no football straight condition. All right, man. So, look, we finna get into the best jugos you can go be a walk-on at and mm-hmm. actually get play time. Kilgore. Kilgore, Kilgore College. Kilgore. Yeah. Kilgore College. Cisco, my little cousin go there, by the way. We ain't going to say TJC because we got a couple of their people over here. So, mm-hmm. came over here. Dude. Yeah. Georgia yeah. Military. Compton College. Mm-hmm. Um, all opportunities. All opportunities. And then you got that one school that's in uh, Colorado. Those are the only five you can really go and be a walk on and, and get equipment. Get a jersey. Get a jersey. See, but that's why I really looked at. That's why get I really, really looked at. I I just can't. Oh, wait to go they're to on Mississippi. Oh yeah, on me. Yeah, Mississippi. Yeah, Mississippi. Yeah, you got EMCC, yeah. Mississippi Gulf Coast, Kahoma. 
Yeah, yeah man. You, yeah, yeah. You got them too. See, really, if these JUCOs deal with these universities do, they have so much more people. Because you know, at a university, mm -hmm. you can walk on at a university, and it could be a big one, a D1, where you got yeah. the name on your back of your jersey, yeah. and you're still considered walk-on. Yeah. But mm -hmm. you're on the team, and you're exactly. practicing with them, but they're actually letting you play. They're seeing what you can do. Mm -hmm. And you have to make that walk-on team, too. They're exactly. not going to just let you on there. Exactly. That's what that's what any regular Juco should do. That's exactly. a real walk-on. Give me my jersey, have my name on the back of it, bam. And if I do good enough, you get if you do good enough, you get offered a scholarship. Okay. That's too easy. Oh god, that's like, that's way more like that's way better and more easy than playing with somebody mental health. Yeah. And making them feel like, you know, they not where they supposed to be at. What the, these what these coaches are doing are making people lose motivation for football. Exactly. People who've been playing this yeah. their whole lives. You got people quitting football because you they wasting their time, literally. Mm -hmm. You're just wasting their time. Because they're like, I wholeheartedly told the walk on coach, you know, he and I walk on coach no more, but I wholeheartedly told him during the summer. I said, You got to think about it. I'm a Florida kid. All I know is football. So, mm -hmm. like, once I quit football, I'm going to quit school. There's no point in me getting no degree. That's I came to school came to play here. football. This so, is yeah. what I you came here to I went to college. You feel me? I came here to play football. And, like, being that I'm like the 16 player from Dade County and Broward County that touched down at Navarro College. You would think that I'll be playing. Not me. It ain't even like that. And it's like Brandon a lot. I'm better than half of these running backs y'all got here. Like I ain't saying that, you know, I'm top dog, but like I know I'm better than them. And it's like the fact that I'm not even given the opportunity to even prove that. Like put you in some pads and you yeah. know ask to see what yeah. you can do on the field. Yeah, like it, they it's don't give crazy. Nobody the opportunity for that, man. Like it's crazy and it's weird. And it's like I ain't gonna lie, but like a lot of a lot of African American coaches that work at the Vera College be having, you know, they manhood in the head coach's pocket. Yeah. They be holding his hand. Mm-hmm. Something, because, man, it doesn't be making no Cause sense. Because it don't seem, because Brady don't make no sense that we the same skin color, and bro, Brody. You're not showing no love. You're not showing me no type of love, bro. Yeah. Like, what we doing? You're supposed to give me some opportunity, some opportunity. you know? You, you, you feel yeah. me? Like, I can't get an opportunity. All I'm doing is running. Okay, pretty much right. just know that if you big, if you're a big boy, you don't even got to run. You don't even got to right. run. Right, they gonna talk to you at the practice and say you on the team. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Our D lineman never came to practice. Exactly. <laughs> D lineman got booed up last year. They never came to practice. We, I seen people get moved up that I never seen in a walk in I my life. I seen linebackers get moved up. I seen D lineman get moved up that never came to practice. And I got a one point one GPA, but they got promoted. Man, I guess that's what she called. I guess that's a that's a Navarro student. That's a Navarro JUCO student athlete right there. That's, 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 the, that's the expectations right there because man. <laughs> Cause bro, I got a whole two point eight point nine GPA. And he got a whole. I got a whole three point three, bro. Shit, like two point five. And we, <laughs> we're not even promoted. <laughs> That's if they, crazy. If y'all, if they was moving people up for grades, why well, would have been starting on the team? Oh God. Cause bro, half of the starters don't even have the grades. That's the crazy part. Nah, you know how the coaches be. Man, we know. What, what can what can my player do so he can get his grade up in time so he's eligible? Oh God. We're gonna, it did. We're going to see how many people on the team after that eligibility, though. Well, yes. We're going to see how many people are going to be going D1 after this eligibility. Oh, <laughs> We're going to see how many people go D1 after this eligibility. Back with another one. Um, all right, y'all. So now we about to get into what we about to do after we leave Navarro College. So me, I'm going to the Spring League. I'm going to go try for a team in the Spring League. Shit. We either going to Texas State or UTSA. We walking yeah. on for either one now. That's gonna be either two. One of those. Yeah, oh God, we we playing football. Either one of them, but we got mm -hmm. to get up out of here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we already went to every school together. Yeah, so. elementary, middle school, and high school. We even transferred to the same high school together. It was <laughs> our plan. Yeah. And then he told me to go to college. I was going to go to the Navy. Oh Bro told me to go to college. I remember that. And then I, <laughs> I came to Navarro, and we've been roommates. I mean, that's how it happened. So we might as well just go to every college together. Just a <laughs> warning: if you come here. Handle your business and get out. Fast. Don't stay here. Yeah. <laughs> Handle your business Don't be and get chilling. out. Like, it's cool to, you feel me, slide with the songs, but you got to yeah. get up out of here at the end of the I day. Mean, yeah. oh, ha have a good time while you're here for sure. Oh, but yeah. remember what your priority is. <laughs> to bounce. Exactly. <laughs> get out. Your priority is to you bounce, little dog. It's I like, mean. it's because it's, it's, I ain't going to lie. Once you get here. Mm hmm and you keep listening to these coaches about that walk-on class, bro, you're going to be stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't going to lie, you're going to be stuck. You're going to be I'm stuck in course like, for the rest of your life. Man, I done came to the decision, dog, Tuesday, bro. You feel me? I had a falling out with the coaches. You feel me? I walked off from practice. You feel me? The day everybody been trying to get me to come back and, like, you know, one of the, like, former, like, at the roster players, he walked up to me, like, during the weekend. He was like, man, you, I ain't going to lie. 
at your age, bro, I applaud everything that you do. Because, like, everything you're doing is besides football. Even though, bro, you feel me like this is your, mm -hmm. your calling right here, bro. Football, it's like you not finna let nobody stop you yeah. or punk you from getting where you got to go. Cause it's like, bigger than football. It's That's bigger than football. Exactly. And it's like, bro, you know, I'm Pat Sands' nephew. My uncle played 16 years in the NFL. I'm Frank Sanders' cousin. He played a long time in the NFL. So it's like, I know the obstacles that I already done been through. Mm -hmm. So I already know what's next. So it's like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna go give me a nine to five. I'm finna go play for somebody team in the spring league. I'm finna get that film and I'm finna Go to the XFL. What about to say you don't even got to go to the NFL. You got the you got the CFL, CFL the XFL. XFL. And it's money. Boy, you it's money. money. Yeah. You getting paid to play? As this long sport as I can get like. paid to play the sport that I love, it don't got to be big, big league. Mm -hmm. As long as they can pay my bills. Exactly. Literally. That's too easy, right there. That's the most important part. Exactly, man. And it's like I ain't gonna lie. It's like shit. Monka told me earlier. He was like, I ain't gonna lie. You got to figure out something. Like what you gonna do? You gonna stay there? And let them punk you, or you gonna quit, and you gonna find you something else that you gonna do better. I said, I ain't gonna lie, I'm finna quit. <laughs> nah, but don't put it like that though. You're not quitting. You going for better opportunity. Yeah, better yeah. opportunity. Yeah. Cause you're not you're not quitting from some shit that was good for you. Nah, yeah. You you making like the right decision for yourself. Good and you just quit. Nah, exactly. Just... You you stand in that class is letting them just like walk all, all over, over you. you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cause like basically like the way they feel about that walk on class is okay. The longer I keep you here, the longer I own you. And it's like I ain't gonna lie. This ain't the industry, you feel me? Like, ain't, ain't nobody own, you know, like, this ain't no contract. Like, yeah. I could basically bounce and play for whoever I want mm -hmm. and, and play right. against you and ball on you. <laughs> and even though even though he quit that home, he's still going to have 100 throughout the whole year. Oh, That's God. how much they do not care. He's going to oh, have God. 100 throughout the whole year. I'm going to have a whole okay, eight. On me. Oh, God. And that's going right towards your GPA. Oh, God. Oh, I'm going to have a whole eight and not even go. Going. Going. We had 100 the whole time. Yeah. That's yeah. green. Give you a free break. I'll show you right there. Thank God, right boy. Damn. All right, YouTube. It's your boy, Florida Boy J. Oh, Jaden. And my name is And that's it with this video, man, for Creel Talk, man. I'm going to catch y'all at the next one. We're going to be back with another one. Yes, sir. Our next topic, we're going to be talking about next week. I need next week, man. We're going to do it Thursday. We're going to do another video Thursday for y'all, man. We're going to be getting into the needy greedy of what you really got to do. When you're trying to be successful, consistency. Consistency, man. We gotta. We're gonna get into that in the next video, y'all. All right, y'all. Uh, All right. It's your boy Flo the Boy J. It's Maya. And back with the next topic is: If your partner cheats on you, would you take them back? No. Why? Cause what makes you think they're not gonna do it again? Pretty much makes sense. Makes sense. sense makes sense. They doing once, they're gonna do it again. Mm-hmm. So like. Dating in college, mm -hmm. would you come to college with a boyfriend? No. Why not? Uh, cause when you go to college, it's all about fun, having fun. To meet meet new people, mm -hmm. country, you know. Mm -hmm. I feel like you shouldn't come, com, committed. you know, committed relationship or nothing, you know. Mhm. Mm That's how I feel about it. Facts, facts, facts. So, like, who you think cheats more, men or women? Cause I'm gonna say women. I'm gonna say men. Why, why men? Because the men, like, Maybe. women don't really cheat first If in, in reality. Mm -hmm. It's always men. Mm -hmm. But a girl, you ain't really going to catch her cheating like that. Because, you know, we sleep, with, we sleep. Y'all sleep with it. I said that earlier. And if we cheat on you, we not. <laughs> niggas be cheating just to, like, you know, I don't know how to word that on here. But. Like, okay, so, like, dudes cheat because they be influenced by their homeboys. Sorry. So, like, say, like, their homeboys happen to want to do this. And, you know, dudes, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you, you know, I ain't gonna say me, but yeah, you know, y'all talk a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, your homeboys know all your 411 business. So that's how y'all get caught quick on faster. Females, we be on the low. Like, we don't speak too much on mm -hmm. stuff. Because we, we sneaky. Sneaky with it. <laughs>
And listen, why a month? Because in that month, you want to take the person out on dates. You get guys, to know them. Get to know them, exactly. Go on a lot of dates. Do a lot of phone calls. Text. And I'm pretty sure in that month, you're going you're gonna to realize if a person likes you or not. Because in the first two weeks, you're going to really know. If they text back fast, if they don't, if they want to go out, if they don't. If they ain't everybody, any and everybody face. Yes, then you will know. You will know. Yeah. And who cheats more, men or women? Women cheat more, but women do it sneakier. Yes. Dudes, when y'all cheat. Better. Bro, when y'all cheat, y'all be so out in the opening with the homies, and it's like, that's weird. We're better. Listen, here's an example. So I had an ex or whatever. And he fell asleep, so I was like, okay. My face unlocks his phone and everything. So that's trust right there. So I get in, I was like, okay, it's Instagram, whatever. And then I just see his DMs going off. I'm like, what? And this is a girl texting him. They've been texting and stuff like that. I mean, hey, you got caught. <laughs> you got caught. So if you didn't want to get caught, I mean, like, delete the messages. Or just don't text at all. Here's the thing. If you want to cheat, be single. how I said it, be single, be please. Single. You could be a thought your first year of college. You, you can. You gotta. This is the... You don't gotta commit your freshman year. <laughs> <That's the scary laughs> Anyways, like we were saying before, somebody was staring at us. It's a rough. Anyways, lesson. when you are a beginner like freshman in college, mm -hmm. please don't be, don't have a boyfriend, don't have a girlfriend. Don't come to college with a boyfriend. Don't at all. Because don't I'm come to college you, with a girlfriend. At college, <laughs> it's like over 1,000, 2,000 people. You know how many boys and girls that are? You're going to be flirting. Oh, God. You're going to want to have some fun. So be, please don't oh be in a relationship. It's going to be a whole time. Be single as a Pringle. Have it's your gonna... little, <laughs> have, have what they say, a little thought phrase but what you know the word i want to say yeah but have a little thought phase and be like okay get to know yourself don't don't be in a relationship exactly at all exactly at all. exactly so like all right next topic we're gonna talk about dudes that walk around here with bonnets on their head yeah <laughs> okay i'm not saying it's not cute or nothing but don't talk about girls when we're when we wear our bonnets <laughs> out in public but dudes can do it too like yeah, That's like, not fair at all. So if you want your mm -hmm. if you want to wear your bonnet and a girl want to wear her bonnet, go ahead. But don't be talking about us behind her back. I That's strongly funny. I strongly disagree because I ain't gonna lie. I'm from the hood and I ain't never seen no hood dude with no I don't wanna bonnet ask, on their head. How did they even get started? Like who was the first one to wear a bonnet? Like Young yeah, Thug. I think you know. You know, everybody see a trend, they do it. But I think, don't listen, don't quote me on that. I don't know. I just said I don't know. But still, ain't no gangsters this, supposed to be wearing no bunnies on their head. Yeah, I don't, I don't <laughs> Especially know. when you sagging with My it. My opinion, don't wear them out in public. You know, that's just that's just showing the world that you're not ready. And it's not saying you don't have to be ready all the time, but like, you know. That and it's showing that you're undercover. So, yeah. Undercover? Undercover. You just, homeboy just walked up out of here with a whole pink. Purple looking bunny. <laughs> I know you just saw that. I know you just saw that. I know you cut. Here's a little tip for me when you come to college. Mm -hmm. Be prepared. That's what I'm saying. Have everything prepared. ready. And if you don't have a car, get friends. Exactly. Get friends because I'm telling mm -hmm. you, certain. Certain days you're not gonna want to walk in the rain. You're not gonna want to walk when it's hot. You're not gonna want to walk nowhere. You barely gonna walk to class if you got a big campus. Oh God, I don't. So I call get, Tori. Get a lot of friends. <laughs> Y'all run around together. That's just that. I call and Tori. Have money. Have yeah, money. Please do not blow your own refund check. Please don't. do not do that. Do not don't. blow your own refund check. Don't. <laughs> Do not burn. Listen. Do not no. blow through that refund check. No, I'm telling you, gonna need it. Bro, you, you gonna, gonna need that. You gonna have to. You gonna be hungry. You gonna be hungry. <laughs> I'm telling you. And when the school, <laughs> hey, if you want any type of money that's coming, like a CARES Act, a refund, mm -hmm. don't don't put it through the school. They're gonna Hell take. Nah, they're gonna take your money. They're you, gonna you gotta take your new. money. They're going. To take yeah. Bruh, schools are money hungry, and they got all these little things that you could get money yes. from just to see how smart you're going to be with if it, If you apply for a CARES Act, and it tells you if you want to put it through the school bank account, mm -hmm. oh, you know what they're going to do? Put it into housing. Mm-hmm. Or, 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 or pay off your school shit, because I ain't going to... 
That's, I ain't gonna lie. Because oh. it's like. But anyways, like we are saying, don't let this school take your money. Mm -hmm. Read everything when it comes to refund checks, mm -hmm. uh, board, any any type of scholarships, Pell grants. Pell grants, any of that. Because they're going to take it. I promise you. Yeah. Colleges have a way of taking your money, but they sneak you in. That's why they say college is a scam. <laughs> what? College oh, my gosh. It is. is. A it's a scam. I literally said this last night. College is a scam. Is. You come into school. I'm going to give you. I don't want to put my business out there, but I'm going to tell you how this. Mm -hmm. So my dad, I have VA benefits. So this mm -hmm. covers my tuition. And then I have a Pell Grant that mm -hmm. covers my housing. Yeah. Tell me why I still owe 3000 <laughs> Make it make sense. Exactly. They're making up money. Exactly. If you realize everything comes with your tuition is your meal plan, mm -hmm. your books, mm -hmm. your uh, immediate access for books. So mm -hmm. why am I owing 3000 Exactly. Money. They want to charge you for registration. Oh, God. They want to charge you for parking. Oh, they want to charge you for everything. Even though laundry is free, they charging you for it. Oh, God. They charging you for it. It is. Like, y'all better watch out because they charge you for everything. Everything, like, bro, everything around school ain't free. Even though they say it's free, it's not free. Like, you paying for this. Exactly. Like, you paying for this. Make this make sense. Why is our room and board... Three thousand to four thousand dollars, and look at our rooms. It's not Trash. even first class. <laughs> and watch when we get back to our. I'm gonna tell James to record his room. <laughs> they are trash. It's trash. We have two, we have two beds in a small little compartment of a room. <laughs> For real. Everybody has easy. one drawer with mm -hmm. two people, mm -hmm. one desk with two people. Exactly. One bathroom with two people. <laughs> exactly. That is tiny. <laughs> And the room is not even that much space to even no. move the room around. It's not. For it to be like an apartment style type of room, it's not even a lot of room to move anything around. Exactly. And then like with school, bro, they pay you up with roommates who you don't even know. Yes. <laughs> that's the thing. Oh, we're adding it on. We add know your roommate. <laughs> know, know your roommate, roommate before you come to college. They will still. <laughs> Cause my freshman year, I got the roommate from hell. <laughs> oh God, I did. Oh God, I did. Homeboy Fire. would not. <laughs> homeboy would not clean up after himself. He would not wash his hat to sink. He would not take a shower. He would not eat his own food. He never had no money. <laughs> Always know in my stuff. Know who your roommate is. <laughs> oh God, know your so roommate. So the best thing probably <laughs> when you were in high school. To, hey, say, hey, bestie, let's go to college together. What? Because y'all almost like to get a room to. What, what in the world? Y'all almost like. Get... All right, y'all. I'm back. So, next topic is. Juco, you not supposed to be at Juco for three years, two, uh -oh. one or two minimum, not three. Listen, especially if you playing sports. Exactly, and on to that. Okay, from now on, you should be at a Juco for two years. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't. You blah, 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 You shouldn't be here longer than two years. Mm -hmm. Last last year was COVID, mm -hmm. and everybody that was a freshman. Okay, I can understand that. If you play sports, mm -hmm. you have an extra two years here. Yeah. But that's just extra leeway. You exactly. don't want to really be here for no three years. Not three, not, yeah. No, exactly. not at all. Really JUCO don't. is meant for two. University is meant for four. Mm -hmm. So get your associates and, and deals. Bounce. Please. Bye. You don't got to go You don't want to be here. Get out of here. And I don't understand. Here's the thing. I'm not trying to be rude. But how can y'all sing with y'all? I can't. The same professors. Mm -hmm. The same food from the cafeteria. The same. I'm not going to eat this stuff for three boring years. Anyways. It is so boring. It is so dry. Like, it's so boring. Juco's. I can understand if a Juco was fun. Like, but this, like if this was Blinn College, okay, I can understand. Because, yeah. you know, Blinn is like an HBCU. Even though they are Juco, but they party That's every true. Day. HBCUs? They is just like HBCU. Like, but this, I'm telling y'all. That and then like when y'all getting recruited by these schools, y'all need to make sure y'all really gonna play with before y'all even come yes. to the Because I you done, don't want to be on the walk on, you don't want to be on the sideline. You mm -hmm. just standing there in the heat. Exactly. Because I done seen a lot of people that came JUCO, went JUCO, and they look they went on a scholarship and then they get their scholarship taking their sophomore year and he's given to a freshman. I'm telling you, and it's now you gotta come it. out of pocket for everything. It's not it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm telling you, don't do it. This Juco, and I'm telling you a reason. Mm -hmm. We have curfew. Yeah, we do. Name one other college that has curfew. Name one other Juco that has curfew. Name any PWI. Do you that see has that curfew. sign in the back? Navarro College. We have curfew. We have curfew. Blend don't have curfew. Don't forget to Tyler don't have your curfew. <laughs> We're not talking about cheer. <laughs> 
But yes. Other schools do not have curfew, but we do. We do. Our so curfew is. Everything gets stricter around here. Our curfew is 10. 10. 10. 10 o'clock. We cannot sit on the chair. We cannot sit on. We cannot sit on stairs. We can't be outside past 10. Mm -hmm. And if we are, if we're doing any of those, you know what? You have to pay the school back money. Yeah. Just how we said in the last video, college is a scam. It is. We're steady paying the school. We're steady paying the school. Exactly. Don't you can't <laughs> drink on campus, but we all know you can't drink. You can't smoke. Can't you can't uh, play music out loud. You can't drive mm -hmm. too fast. Mm -hmm. Citation, 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 citation. And everything be like one twenty, fifty, and up, and up. Like I'm telling you, <laughs> if you get a citation, it's going to be a hundred dollars. It's gonna be a hundred dollars. Just get ready to pay it back. And if you say, oh, I'm not going to pay it back. It oh, gonna it's, it's going it's it's to be up. on your, you're not going to be able to register for classes. <laughs> oh, God. It's going to be on that, it's going to be on that fee, baby. You have to for get sure. The, and then you have to get the president of student services to remove it. <laughs> oh, God, you do. Like, tell y'all. Hello, people. James, YouTube. <laughs> Florida, Florida boy, Florida boy. Anyways, my birthday is coming up. Anyways, guys. Just let you guys know that my birthday is coming up September 4th. Saying happy birthday to me. Here's my Instagram. It's Tori Jones 431, lowercase. If you can't reach me on that, here's my Snapchat. Sha Tori Jones. C H E T O R I. Jones, J O N E S. Add me. I will try my best to add you back. I'm not saying that to be rude. I just don't get on Snapchat, but you know. Wish me happy birthday, September 4th. Be blessed. I love you. Uh, I'm saying never let that bread get involved in your loyalty. Never let these bras lead you to go and question me. Ever got a plate and if you don't wish. Hi, YouTube. It's your boy, Florida Boy Jake. I'm back with another Career Talk video. I'm here with... Natalie Rojas. Christina Obama. Egypt Rhodes, Daniela Peña. All right, so today we're going to be talking about dating while being a full-time athlete. Yay. <laughs> so we're going to start on this end with... Daniela. Daniela. Or you can call me Danny. Danny. Yes. Um, I think dating as a full-time athlete can be very challenging considering mm -hmm. your very busy schedules with classes and sports, and especially with sports. You never know like when coaches are gonna cancel or when they're gonna schedule practices. I feel like it can be very <coughs> di difficult um, finding time for your significant other. How you feel about that? You know, basically like she said, I feel like um, I'm not per se an athlete, but I would uh, say, you know, like she said with the schedule, it would be very hard to, you know, find time to hang out with your significant other. Also having to take care of your schoolwork and then, you know, like she said, practices, all that together could be real challenging, you know. Um, it could be challenging, but I feel like if, you know, your time, you know, what am I trying to say? If you can uh, handle your time mm -hmm. and, you know, make sure you have enough time to do one thing and then do the other, if you can get your way around it, then, you know. Just balance the two. Basically. Yeah. Okay, Christine? I mean, that's okay. It's <coughs> best. Sorry for, sorry for my voice. Having a hard time. Okay. <laughs> it's basically what 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 Egypt and Danny have said. It could be difficult, but it would be much more peaceful if you are with somebody who's mature enough mm -hmm. to understand that you have a schedule that you have to follow. Because way before meeting the person, you are already at lead. Mm -hmm. The person made you. You've been with your sport. Mm -hmm. So if the person truly loves you, the person is going to adjust. And another thing is, your partner supposed to compliment you, you know, add more, more value, more love, more positivity to your life. So if I'm a soccer player, I know my partner can take me to the gym, can take me for a run. Why? Because he is going to understand that, okay, my girlfriend is a full-time athlete. I can come around with distraction or mess around with her schedule because for me, I will choose my career every single day over my partner because I understand my partner is going to understand my vision for life and is going to adjust. Will not come and be like, hey, quick, play sport, spend time with me. No, you're going to adjust. If you love me mm -hmm. and you understand my passion for, for example, soccer, you are going to adjust. That's my opinion. Natalie? She said it all. She said it all. No, but yeah, like, it's hard, it's challenging, but, like, if you two, if both of them are, both of them are like, uh, willing to try, willing, willing to 
uh, move forward and then like I feel being mature is a really 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 important thing because like like Christina said you need to add like you two need to support each other get better at each other like you're a team and that's basically what, what they all said too okay because of my opinion on that go ahead it would not work it. why because yeah. I tried okay like being in high school I had a full-time girlfriend she was a non-athlete, so it didn't work. Versus when I was dating an athlete, okay, the time schedule is she's busy, I'm busy. So when I got free time, I can text her. Date a non-athlete, it would not work. That's just my opinion. I'm just being honest. Because a non-athlete doesn't understand the grind, the struggle, the time, the effort, everything that you have to do. That's what I said earlier. I use the pen if the person is mature enough. Mm -hmm. it, it can be like, oh, because you are not... You don't play any sport. I'm not gonna like you. I'm mm -hmm. gonna like you regardless. If you if you can adjust with my schedule, definitely. But as I say again, it depends on how mature the person is, because if the person can understand that my boyfriend or girlfriend has a schedule and doing something for her present or her future, definitely the person is going to understand. Plus, if my partner has more free time than me, mm -hmm. my partner can be helping me more. Okay. Maybe with homework. Maybe let's do laundry. Maybe grocery. You know. Mm -hmm. So the person can come and add more value to my life instead of being like, oh, you're not spending time with me. I'm not spending time with nobody else. It's either I'm working uh -huh. for our future, okay. future boyfriend, if you're watching this video, no. <laughs> <laughs> next. That's just All right. All right, so next topic is coming to college with a, boy um, with a boyfriend versus not coming to college with a boyfriend or girlfriend. You know. So I you know, we play both sides, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, basically, okay, I would say um depending on the relationship like coming to college you know with the boyfriend ex and also if y'all are going to the same college or different i mean it could be challenging depending on the trust depending on how well you feel like you could you know you know just trust that you're they're still being loyal to you while y'all are apart um i mean with not coming to Thing. I feel like if you didn't come to college with a boyfriend, then I feel like it would be, you know, easier for you to stay more focused, stay more on top of your stuff. But it also could be a distraction with guys from the college coming to you. I don't know. All, all together, either side, it's like, you know, you can either worry about, you know, getting cheated on or mm -hmm. making sure your, your, your partner is doing, doing you right and being loyal. Mm -hmm. Or it can either be, you know, come single Stay focused on what you got to stay focused on and not have that worries, those worries. I'm, I don't know. I don't are are know. you single? Am I single? Yeah. I'm single. Oh, so you're single. Oh, okay. okay. I'm okay, single. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> for, you, for you viewers out there, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here you go. So, yes, I have been single for three years now. I feel coming into college... Um, would be, I would say, difficult with a boyfriend, at least for me, because I'm in a state where I am mature, but I'm still maturing, I'm still growing, I'm still trying to find myself, what I want to do in life, my passions, um, I still want to follow through with the career I'm about to choose, my soccer career, everything's just not taking off, and I'm still meeting so many new people, I plan to travel, meeting more new people, I never know if I'm going to meet that special person yet, or if it's just long-term friends i'm still in that mix so okay 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 so we back okay so something that's been real annoying to me is the fact that my mom she thought that you know me driving my freshman year would be a distraction so she didn't let me drive so i had to dr not drive i have to walk to my classes every it's, it's good for you every you class some, you do some cardio you i mean do, yeah i mean you okay some cardio, you put some okay okay you get, yeah. we get it i like <laughs> <laughs> and it's i'm not complaining too much as i like um i like walking getting a fresh walk it helps clear my mind and stuff period but my building's all the way in the back like literally all the way in the back oh, well, so I can that's with you that's every morning. that's a know. that's a walk and like i have no problem with it but then again if i do want to go out and go somewhere go to the store you know i can't do that so that's like one thing that's been annoying to me another thing um i don't know so far i'm kind of liking this school i'm liking mm -hmm. it it's it's a pretty cool school mm -hmm. but um their food is not good and they got black people in the kitchen and they can't season for shit <laughs> oh sorry that's on youtube y'all like it's not they like bacon it's not bacon or turkey bacon that that's sh uh, that stuff is like 
lizard. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's like, food. it's literally, it, I promise you. And then, like, come on, us black people have to get it together because how are you going to be black behind the kitchen and serving me stuff and, like, it's no seasoning, no type of salt, pepper, nothing. <laughs> Like, I just, I'm not understanding. And my older brother came to Navarro for his freshman and sophomore year, and he was boosting it up. Like, it was just the bombdiggy.com. And I'm just like, where's the flavor? It's here. Not- here, here I am. Goodbye. Goodbye. But yeah, I mean, other than that, Navarro is a good school. I'm liking it. I'm meeting new people, meeting new friends. Um, I'm enjoying my time so far. And yeah. Some freshman advice would you get to somebody on their way to college? Definitely keep an open mind. Stay away from the boys, especially if they ask for your Snapchat first and not your name. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, just keep an eye out for the critters. Mm. <laughs> um, I would say, you know, uh, keep your eyes on the books, you know, stay focused, do your work. You know, um, have your have your free time, have fun, but you know, do what you came here to do and get that education. Period. Nothing. <laughs> Christina. Nothing. Christina. Christina, we not gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> we not gonna do this, Christina. Well, no, as advice by recommendation, take up on your mental health. Mm-hmm. Make it a priority, not an option. And if you know yourself, you can get to know other people. And if you can work for yourself, you can work for other people. And remember, study for a lifetime, uh-huh. not for a degree, because a degree is just a piece of paper that True. you add value. So make sure you're a valuable person with or without a degree. Okay. Nothing. Damn, I'm going to say something after she said that. That's like... Mm. Like, that was like, the big mm-hmm. Come on, yeah. come on, she, come she on. has some idea. I would say, like, um, freshman, like, I know it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be busy sometimes, and like, you're probably gonna say you don't have time to do this or that, but there's always time. Like, uh, organize yourself. I think that's a really um, time management. Time management. I think that's a really, really, really important thing. And enjoy. You're here. It's college, so enjoy, but don't always focus. Yeah, oh, that's it. I think that's it. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Drink water in my your business. business. Uh, Period. Alright, you two. It's your boy Floaty Boy J, man. Okay. That's that. That's it. Was just Pina with my teammate. Oh, Not team, my teammate. That's Pina and my.